Can you believe it's been almost a year since I've done an art tag? So I've cut out a number eight sized tag from corrugated cardboard and this is the cardboard that came with my cutting mat and I'm going to use the collage page from Tracy Batista and Aileen's which is the matte collage page which is very similar to the matte Mod Podge and I'm going to cover the entire tag with some book text fragments taken from an old dictionary and as you can see I'm putting plenty on making sure that it's got nice coverage and it's going to be well sealed. Once I'm happy it's all nicely stuck down and completely sealed, I'm going to bring in my heat gun and give it a real good heat blast, make sure it's all nice and dry before I move on. Now all my book text fragments are dry and thoroughly sealed, I'm just going to use a rule and a scalpel. I'm just going to trim off all the excess pieces from around the tag. So next up, after a quick tidy up, I'm going to use the Tim Holtz uh, layering stencil uh, called Flourish and I'm going to grab some modelling paste. This is the Windsor and Newton modelling paste. This is the fairly light stuff. And I'm going to put the modelling paste through the stencil using a spatula and I'm going to cover the entire tag. So I want a nice deep pattern with the flourish so I'm going to make sure I put plenty of the modelling paste on and then I'm going to remove the stencil very very carefully to make sure that I don't disturb any of that pattern. So I'm going to very carefully remove the stencil so as not to disturb any of the modelling paste. I'm just going to drop the stencil to one side and then bring up the heat gun and give it a little bit of a dry um, before I move on and then I'm going to go and wash the stencil. Everything's nice and dry and the stencil's clean so I'm going to bring out my super thick slap it on gel medium from Indigo Blue and these are two plaster casts that I um, made from a silicon mould that I purchased from eBay. Um, I've had this for a little while, I have already done a project with them, you may have seen that one, if you haven't it's not that far back in the list of my videos and all I'm going to do is just butter the back with that super thick slap it on and then stick them down onto my tag. And I also have a tiny little uh, plaster cast heart that was taken from one of the Mod Podge um, moulds. I'm just doing exactly the same thing, just put it at the back and I'm just going to stick that down to the tag also. Once my pieces are stuck down I'm just going to use a small detail brush just to remove some of that excess um, gel medium that's squeezed out from the bottom. There's nothing worse than seeing uh, where the glue squeezed out and it's just been left. So I like to tidy mine up a little bit just to remove that excess before I give it a bit of encouragement to dry using my heat gun. So 
So once the gel medium's had a little bit of time to dry, I'm going to bring out my Neo Colours. Now, purple's not my most favourite colour, as some of you already know, but I'm going to be using this as the base colour um, for my tag. So I've just put some of the Periwinkle Neo Colour onto the mat. I've just activated it with water and I'm just going to apply a very light background with that Neo Colour. I'm going to let it drip and dribble all the way down. I'm also going to activate it a little bit more uh, add some more colour with a, uh, a tiny spritzer, one of those mini misters, um, just so I get a nice coverage. So as you can see, I'm just using the water that's on my mat and I'm just activating the Neo Colour Crayon and then just letting the fluid, the colour, just drop onto the tag on its own. And then I'll grab my little mini mister and I'll activate it and let the pigment and the colour just run and settle into all those nice nooks and crannies that's been created with that modelling paste. And because I'm far too impatient to let it dry on its own, because I want to get cracking, then I'm going to bring up my heat gun and just encourage it to dry. I want to add some darker colour to the tag now, so I'm going to use the violet Neo Colour and do exactly the same thing. I'm just bringing my water up onto my tabletop so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm activating the crayon with the water and I'm making sure that it's all nice and fluid before allowing it to drop onto the tag. Now I'm just going to randomly place it towards the top, the bottom and the bottom left and then I will do exactly the same thing that I did before and activate it more fully with that mini mister on the tag. So this allows the colour to flow freely into all those lovely nooks and catchment areas within the modelling paste. And again, I'm going to bring up the heat gun and just give it a little bit of a blast just to make sure it's all nice and dry. So I am aware that I've got some splatters and some droplets of that purple colour on the the faces on those masks. So I'm just going to use the white gesso from Indigo Blue, this Gesso Good, and I'm just going to give the two plaster cast faces and the little hat a little coating of the white gesso just to try and remove any of those to make sure that they don't come through or the colour doesn't come through the coat of paint that I'm going to give it in a little while. And because I'm painting directly onto plaster of Paris, it's soaking the gesso up straight away and drying almost instantaneously. So next up, it's the Goldfinger Gold Metallic Acrylic Paint, again from Indigo Blue. And I'm just going to add some of the paint onto my craft mat and then just lightly go over the faces with the gold paint. Now I'm just adding a very, very light base colour first of all, and then I'll grab some more colour from the pot and then paint the two faces completely with that gold paint. Now because this takes quite a while to do, I have sped the video up quite substantially. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to do the entire thing, um, so I've condensed that down to one minute for you.
So my fingers are quite a blur and as you can see I'm also dry brushing some of the gold paints to catch on that flourish modelling paste relief background as well. So I'm actually just picking out some of those details with the gold paint and then I'm going to add a gold border which is what you can see me doing at this point and just adding some gold all the way around to create that kind of frame around the outside of the tag. Okay, so just to see the finishing touches, I'm going to drop back down to a little bit of a slower speed now, just so you can see my final touches of the gold. And then once I'm happy with the coverage of that gold paint, I will give it a quick blast with a heat gun. And then I'm going to grab my Ruby Slippers red metallic acrylic paint from Indigo Blue again. And with a fine detail brush, I'm going to paint the heart with that red metallic paint. So I'm just going to give it a quick heat blast and then I'm going to give it a second coat. It never hurts to give something a second coat, particularly something like this where you really want that metallic effect to be very, very apparent, then a second coat is always a good idea. And once again out comes the heat gun just to make sure it's all nice and dry before we add our little art title. To add my title I'm going to use the big chat stickers from Tim Holtz and Ideology and I've already chosen the two words I'm going to use. I've decided to drop them at the bottom and the two words I'm going to use on this are just because. And just to blend those two stickers into the background a little bit more, I'm going to grab my ink temp pencils. First of all, I'm going to try using the brown, just to add a little bit of a, a shadow with the ink temp pencil. So I'm just going to put a bit on first and then activate it with some water just to kind of create a little bit of depth and dimension um, underneath the two word blocks, but it wasn't dark enough. So I decided to go uh, and grab the black one and do exactly the same thing and this works a lot better. So I'm much happier with the shadows around those two word blocks uh, so I just want to quickly dry them off but I also want to add a little bit of that gold paint that I've also used on the borders around the tag. So I'm just going to grab the metallic gold finger paint again and just dab a little bit around the borders of the two word blocks. And adding that little hint of gold around the word blocks really does help to bring it all together and make it more of a coherent piece. So the only thing left to do now is just to add some fibres through the hole in the top of the tag, which I've already poked out, which is using a scalpel. And I'm just using some of the purple tool that I've recently received in Happy Mail from the lady known only as D.
So just fanning out that tool fibers across the top and I think I'm going to call that complete. I'm happy with that. So let's call this project done. It's an absolute age since I've done one of those, but I really enjoyed doing that and it made a nice change to do something a bit unusual. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of this video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.